Hi everybody, right, so we've made it, we hit over 10,000 subscribers recently, thank you so, so much. We're doing a special Q&A for you today, Get to basically get to know me, Alicia and Will, a little bit more in depth. We've got a total of 31 questions from Twitter and YouTube, which we've selected. If you've uh, given us two questions, then we've only selected one of those. Um, well, I'm really happy that we've hit 10k. I think, um, will I continue with it? Yes, I do love it. It's a bit of a passion. I love talking about football. So uh, it's a passion that I got for video, produ video production as well. My dream job when I was younger was actually to be a nurse until I realised I was scared of hospitals and doctors. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say this. Actually, when I was really young, when I was about eight, I wanted to be a bus driver. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that now. Be Shearer because he was a mint player and also we kind of need a striker now. I think for me that's Alan Shearer because A, we need goals in the Premier League. B, he's a leader, he's local, he commands the dressing room, people respect him, he's funny. I think Alan Shearer has an all round package and I think Newcastle are dying for someone like that. Poor oh, bloody hell. So off the top of my head, then Shea Given, I'm going to go 4 4 2. I'm going to go Cheekly Solano right back. Woodgate and Philippe Albert and the two centre-backs. Left-back, it's a difficult one because that's quite weak, but I keep changing this. Olivia Bernard, I'll go for. This right wing, I'm going to be cheeky and put uh, David Ginola. Left wing, Laurent Robert. In the middle, I keep changing this. I've got to have Peter Bairnsley in the number 10. Um, and possibly maybe Rob Lee to go alongside him. Up top, Sheeran Ferdinand. Absolutely phenomenal when those two were together when I was growing up watching them. We actually asked through Jordy on Facebook, it was about a year ago, and we got blank. Yeah, we, I mean, we've done a collaboration with Ball Streets. We're looking to do collaborations with Red Men TV, as in we follow each other on Twitter, we're in contact with each other. How we three met was that I just actually turned up one day after a match and I was like, is it, is it all right if I do fan cams with you? Um, so, yeah. It's not really an interesting story. Well, I work with Sky. Um, I do a few different things. I'm in a lot of meetings, um, a lot of manager meetings. Uh, I do. I look after customers. So once um, mobile, I look after that. And I also do video production on site as well. So I do a creative uh, videos as well. It would be Shea Given, Philip Albert, Olivia Bernard, Beardsley and Sheeran. Uh, wow. The closest one I have to say when I got knocked over, I was only a kid, 13 years of age. I was actually skiving school, believe it or not, and I was getting chased off the police. And I ran onto the main road in Wrighton. And uh, yeah, I got hit, I got spun in the air, but I was that concerned about getting caught off the police. Um, I got clipped on the hip, got up, hobbled into a garden, hid under a bush, and the police found us. But I haven't really got one because we've hit the 10k, so I don't really have a target for subscribers now. That was the magical number for me. I've been waiting two years to hit 10,000. It's massive for me personally, so I don't really have a massive one, to be fair. I've got other goals, don't get me wrong, so come on to. I'm going to have to go for Anfield. Um, I just think their atmosphere from the cop is excellent. I would have to say I'd love to go to the West Fallon Stadion, the Bruce Dortmund, just to be amongst that chaos. I would love to be amongst that, you know. I know Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV has done it, uh, the jammy getting. He's experienced it, and that is something I would love to. Uh, a little bit more hostile, I would like to try an Istanbul derby uh, with the Ultras. My advice is regular content. You've got to learn to edit. I think that's key. Don't sound like a monotone. So Newcastle won today. No, you've got to like you've got to capture your audience from the first thirty seconds is key, and also do your research. Don't just think, well, I think you play for that team. No, research it before you come on the video. Not naming names, Mufa Sissoko, and everything's going perfectly well playing in the Champions League for Tottenham, isn't it at the moment? Self-funded, I think that's what's key. I mean, we don't do it for any money, but it would be nice to make a bigger money. I mean, we do make a little bit of money, but it's not much. Um, so I like to make a bigger money and possibly, you know, the dream is maybe turn it in a job like Arsenal Fan TV. Well, I'm going to put a little bit of friendly competition there. I think Talk Norwich City do very similar to what, what we do here in Newcastle Fans TV. So I would like, I'm catching them. Uh, we are catching them. Uh, I would like to uh, get ahead of them. I think we're somewhere around about 1,500, 1,600s now behind. So that's a small time aim for me personally. Um, also, possibly like collaborating with more bigger YouTubers as well. One thing I'd like to do, if we could do it through this fan channel, be able to do um, another charity football match, like we do with Talk to the Tune, but do that on um, a bigger scale and you have people there and um, something like that would be an absolute dream to achieve. Rafa is going nowhere. Rafa is not leaving Newcastle. 
I'm sorry, I'm not listening to that one. Rafa's going nowhere. Formula One, rugby, tennis. I don't really follow rugby that much, but I played it a fair bit. Uh, tennis, played it for quite a while. Born a one. Well, believe it or not, I actually watch women's football. I've just watched the England women. I'm a big women's uh, women's football. Uh, I'll follow Manchester City. Um, I love Tony Duggan. I follow her career. Uh, so if you want to talk about women's football, you know, uh, I'm your man. Uh, boxing, I watch a lot of boxing. I watch Fight Night. I watch uh, Ringside. The gloves are off. So I'm into boxing. A little bit of darts. Formula One, I was massively into when I was young with the Michael Schumacher, you know, and Ferrari. But I'm not so much nowadays. If it's on, I'd probably say that tennis was quite, actually quite good the other week. Um, so yeah, I think I'd probably go tennis. It actually probably was Lee in the fact that he did this. But um, other ones, um, Drew Jordy, Stephen Housen, both quite sort of straight up, honest, from the heart, say what they want. I think it was because I split up with an ex and it, it, it got us really, really bad. At, at, and I needed something to lift us. And YouTube was that. And it was a passion I've always had. I've never been like confident and go and do it and I've done it and it was a it's a, you know what it is I'm really really thankful that I've done done it and I did do it sorry I can't get my words out. I was on a TV show when I was young I was eight years old I turned nine during it um four part documentary series called boys and girls alone uh ten boys in one village ten girls in another um and uh without our parents there we were chaperoned the whole time between eight and twelve I think it was um, and yeah, that was on Channel 4 in 2009. I've been a vegetarian, because of choice, for over 22 years now. Some of, so that's older than some years I've been born. Uh, the reason behind that is, um, no, I don't mind um, I'd seen people kill us. Uh, animals being slaughtered I mean it's not that it's I've just grew up with it and people think oh okay and my daughter Ella she's now a teen believe it or not yet um absolutely love the little kid uh, she's a little bit embarrassed to go places with us her friends know about us it's cruel and things like that but um yeah she's my biggest achievement because I'm proud of her and what she's turning into she's turning into a, a beautiful young lady and I'm really really proud to be her dad hopefully being a sports journalist hopefully working in football um, I kind of would like to expand my horizon at uni, but my current dream is to be involved in football, whether that be journalist, pundit, analyst, an, uh, analyst commentator, anything like that. Um, hopefully I would have just finished university and hopefully be going on in a, into a job around sports journalism. It, it definitely has the potential to. Um, will it? I can't predict the future, unfortunately, but I think it would be something that I'd definitely be up for if we could do it full time. If it could make it as big as Arsenal fan TV, that would be brilliant, but I don't see why not. Well, in the UK, it has to be the Lake District. Um, I fell in love with it. Went there a couple of years ago and it was sunny two days, which was lucky. Oh, it's just amazing. It was just, it was like being in the Mediterranean south of France. Uh, but it ultimately, you know, I've lived abroad, but New York. Oh, I would advise you to go there. I was there for eight days and it was, uh, it was magical. South Africa, a long way. Beautiful country. I've only visited two places outside Europe and South Africa is the best one out of that on Australia. And if you haven't been, I suggest you go. It's London. Honestly, there are so many different things to do and there are so many places. And for me, shopping, there's loads of shops. It's amazing. So if you ever get the chance, I recommend go to London. Um, I think Ella being born, that's my daughter. I think I was so, so nervous and worried that something would go wrong and actually started crying when she was born. It was like emotion just come out of us and it was, it was a, a quite a beautiful, scary at the same time. Thing. Knowing that I'd passed my exams, um, I wound myself up quite a bit about it and I put a lot of doubt into it and I was like, I'm not going to pass. I've done so bad and this and this and that means I'm not going to be able to college and if I can't go to college, I can't go to university. If I can't go to university, I can't do sports journalism as a career and I really wound myself up about it. But when finally I got the results saying that I'd passed, that was a massive relief for me. Nope. No amount of money, ever, nothing, not money, not anything, would make me start up Sunderland Fans TV. That is not happening. Georgie Adlin, every day of the week, every, every day of the week, um, seems a really, really funny guy. And has an interesting football story, kind of going from, coming from America where soccer, uh, they're you know, soccer over there isn't as big as um, some of the other sports like baseball, basketball and American football. Um, it is growing over there, but um, especially when he was um, a younger kid, um, it wasn't as big. So to come over to, to England, I think it's an interesting story. Plus, he just seems like a fantastic character.
I think John Reed Edlin would be great, but I would like to see, get to know John Joe Shelby a little bit more because he doesn't open up. He seems like this cold character, doesn't he? And I would like to just get into John Joe Shelby's mindset because I think there's something in there that he wants to tell us. And what I think there's something that he's very quiet. And I, would, I would just get it out of him. That's what I'd like. I'd like to know John Joe Shelby as a man on a personal level. Lascelles, because, you know, I think everybody by now knows that he's my favourite. Um, but apart from that, I would like to know how he kind of coped with becoming the captain after like, last season and being at such a young age. I would like to know like how he dealt with that. 11-12, finishing fifth, gaining in the Europa League, being my United 3 at home, being Chelsea 2 0 at Stamford Bridge, all that good stuff. I think it's got to be when we finished fifth under, under Pardew. That was a... Uh, it was a great team that looks at Ben off on the wing and you know you had like Papa Cisa coming in scoring all the goals the second half of the season Demba Barn you know I mean I skied quite a lot when I was a teen but uh, no I wouldn't say massively but if any kids are being bullied it's always the bully who's being bullied I mean everybody takes a minute out of my height I'm like five foot I'm tiny <laughs> at all um, but I haven't actually been bullied I know it happens a lot uh, yeah I do I, I pedal to work um, I, I give up the car I give up the bus and so on well I haven't given up but I mean I, I bike to work and it's only I'm, I'm only next to the metro centre so it's only five miles so I bike to work bike to work back and when I make me lunch twice a week I'll go and do about 45 minutes to an hour of cardio so I won't share that name um, but I've known him since I was zero um, literally day dot and we've spent lots of time together um, you know throughout, uh, throughout all the years and um, sort of aggregately, kind of like that friendship is quite unique. My best friend is Jade, and my best memory with her was like last year we went to the cup match against Preston at St James Park, and I took her to her very first match. I'd already been before, but Jade hadn't. And just to see her face and her expression and everything just walking out. And like seeing the stadium, I mean, we're on like level seven, and she was just amazed by it, and she loved every minute of it. In all honesty, it was a little bit of fun that getting to know us a little bit more about the football side and personal levels, but personal um, on us. But again, I just want to thank you so much. You know, we're going places. I think we're, we're just getting there, and you know, we've got BT Sport lined up next season to be part of their two shows. We've also bought a new microphone. This one is just. Uh, just for when I'm at home and stuff, but we bought a proper microphone for fan cams uh, now as well. Uh, so yeah, so a couple of things have changed, and again, thank you so much. And that sounds proper cheesy, but I genuinely do mean it for all your support. And you know, you get your odd trolls here and there, but you know what? Even even little things like disliking the video promotes us, so even the trolls help me out, even though they don't know it, you know. But thank you so so much. See you later, and thank you for the support. Bye bye.